Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you that how to create this beautiful shopping cart application. And you're going to be building it with only JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. No frameworks. Without any frameworks, we're going to build that from scratch. Okay. So in this video, you're going. I'm going to show you that how to build this beautiful nav bar and how to build this products and how to load them from an API. I'm uh, I'm using a like the API from a third-party API, which is a which is called a fake store API. So I'll show you how to fetch data from it, and also you can click here and it will be like appending into the cart. Look it's pushing into the cart every products and and the very interesting thing that you're going to be learn is that this is a single page application okay so you're going to be learning that how to build a single page application with vanilla JavaScript okay so if you click on the cart you can see all the thing that is showing in here the all the items in the cart and you can see the route changes so you're going to be learning about how to create routes and if you cl click on the shopping cart it will just go to the home page and it is also changing the uh, href I mean the link and you can also increase products from here and it, it and the price is increasing and here is the total price is also increasing and the items is also increasing you can increase it or decrease and you cannot go like less than one item so if you want to remove an item you can click and click on here look it is removing so everything is working very cool and if you want to clear the whole cart so you can click on here clear all yeah that's all and you, you see there is a bit of a message that you don't have in any item in the cart so back to home look everything is working fine so I'll show you that how to build that from scratch using HTML CSS and JavaScript but I'm going to show you the uh, JavaScript part uh, the HTML and CSS part is going to be uh, um, I will provide you the link of the HTML and CSS so you can find them so without any further ado let's go to the setup video where I will show you that how to how to set up the environment for this so let's jump right into it So yeah, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how to set up the environment for the shopping cart that you're going to be building with vanilla JavaScript. So I will give you the link in the description below so you can go to my repository and then click on the code, this button. And then what I want you to do is uh, copy this in the H uh, SSH or you can copy the HTTPS. Uh, I'm going to copy this so copy and I want to I want you to open the terminal so I'm opening git bash you can open the terminal uh, I mean command prompt on Windows or if you're on Mac open uh, like terminal yeah so I want to clone it and let me go e and then and IT projects, CVIT projects. So, and I'm going to clone it here, git clone, and then paste that. Okay, seems like it's not pasting. Let's do, yeah. Now it's working fine. Let me clone it. It's cloning the repository. Okay, it's saying that public key is not defined. Maybe I need to use the HTTPS. Uh, and get clone. And then paste. Yes, now it's done. So, yeah, please use the HTTPS. I made a mistake because it, it will sometimes not work for you. Okay. Uh, so it's done uh, so now what I want you to do is open this folder with uh, with your favorite editor or something yeah code dot uh, let me just go into the shopping cart uh, and then 
um, code dot. Okay. So I've opened it on on my code editor, my favorite code editor. So, and what I want you to do is go inside of the starter folder in here in the terminal. Okay, CD starter and the things that you need to be installed in your computer is that you need to have in the package.json we have you need to have node installed okay in your operating system and 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 yeah after you have installed your node everything is going to be available and then in the starter folder what I want you to do is do npm i and it will going to install all of the necessary things okay so now what I want you to do is that npm start now server is running right now so what I want you to do is now is go to your browser and open a new tab and click on and then search for localhost 8080 yeah the setup is done let's jump right into building the shopping cart you see if you see if you're seeing this message then you're in the right place like so you're going to the right direction so that's all for the setup video i'll see you in the next one bye So yeah, hello guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you that how to build this beautiful navbar and also some ra routing functions for our application needs. So let's jump right into it. So inside of the uh, code editor, what I wanted to do is go inside of the starter folder. So my server is running right now, and inside of the starter folder, I want to to go to the front end and then in the static folder I want you to go into JS and inside of index.js okay so you see you, we have let's jump right into building the shopping cart this is what it's showing in here this one okay now what I want you to do is remove all of this from the file and now what I want you to do is, uh, you know, we have the index.html and we have container here. And we're also using a little bit of bootstrap here. Also, some other, yeah, a little bit of bootstrap. So, what I want you to do is get this from the HTML, uh, like this. Uh, let's call it, uh, let's call it a container, const contain container document dot get element by ID so and and now it's going to mm, container yeah now and the next thing that I want to do I want to create is that a navigate to function calls navigate to and then I'm going to say URL and in the URL, I want to use the history dot push, yes, and then I want to uh, I mean push not push. It's going to say push state, okay. Then an empty object and an empty string, and then there is going to be the URL, and we're going to say load page. So when it's going to uh, navigate to a URL, it's going to load 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 our page. It, it's going to like uh, refresh the page again, so that we can see the new new page, updated thing, and we will create this function later. Yes. Now the next thing is that is we need a route function for this. So let's create a route uh, const route and then event and now event is equal to event and then window dot event so yeah now 
event dot prevent default so that it will not reload now we want to say navigate to and event dot target dot href so when we click on some link it was it, it, it'll going to be like uh, uh, push the state to uh, to that link so we can go to the link so now we are we are going to check if event dot target dot pair parent node dot id is equals equals to cart so if the id when i'm clicking on it is if the id is cart then we're going to navigate to navigate to uh, parent node dot parent node dot href i will explain you why we're doing that and then after else if we are going to say uh, event dot target dot parent node dot id is equal equals to cart route then navigate to event dot target dot parent node dot href yeah I think that's all and now what we want uh, let's put this after all of this okay. yeah. now what we want to create is to generate the navbar HTML so function geno Great navbar HTML, yeah, and then return. Now, where you can find the HTML for the navbar? So to find it, you want to go inside of of the. I will give you the link of that. So so you have this navbar HTML. So I want to do copy this one. So copy and then go to here and paste all of this. Martin. Yeah. So now hit enter. I mean, not enter, it's save. And you see, we have, we used route function in here. So we need to make this uh, public, like uh, we need to pass it to window, window dot route, and then route function. Now it will apply all of this, and we have generated the navbar HTML. But the thing that we want to do is. Mm, The thing that we want to do is we want to now load the navbar to I want we want to append it to the uh, I mean into the HTM into the uh, browser so let's go to the function load navbar and then container dot inner HTML and then generate navbar so we want to call that function yeah now I think that it's going to show very easily and the thing that we want is that the load page function that we haven't created okay so this is the load page and it will going to load the navbar yeah and It will also do something else, which I will show you in the in other videos, and net and then we want to sh we want to set window dot on pop state. 
and then load page. No, we don't need to call it. So, and then what we want is that we want to add a listener to the document. Document dot add event listener, and then DOM content loaded. Now, and now we want document dot body dot add event listener, and then we want to do click, not click prior, click, and then we want event, and then if e dot target dot matches matches and we're going to say data link data link so if the data link when we click on a data link attribute then it will going to say e dot prevent default and then navigate to e dot target dot href Yeah, now I think everything should be working fine. Let's go to our browser and then and yeah, for this uh please uh like disable cache so you, you can when you reload everything should work fine. Okay, it's not showing, maybe I did something wrong. Oh, generate navbar html, generate navbar html. Now it should work. If I reload. No, still not working. If I set it in here, let's see what happens. No, maybe we did a mistake here. Why it's not loading? Uh, push state maybe we need this here and load page to check uh, load page load nav bar container dot inner html so we need to check what it's going on let me debug this load page and load nav bar Yes, everything seems like working fine. And I'll generate now very HTML. Maybe the container is wrong. Let's see if we can console that one container yeah container is I think so and now generate now var HTML var HTML and Data link. Let's see now what we have. Maybe this is not calling. Virus. Yeah, load navbar is not calling. Seems like. 
the load page. Proven default. Generate navbar HTML. So load navbar, load page. So window dot on pop state, load page on the route. What we need is let's check again. Load number, load page. Oh, yeah, we need to add the load page in here too because when the DOM content loaded, so we need the load page, right? That was the mistake. Now it should work. Yeah, you see, and you see also the console log here. So yeah, everything is working fine. If you click here, you see in the cart, it's going, uh, it's changing the URL. So let me explain the data link. So data link is that when you click on an attribute and it has a data link, it will navigate to the link and it will not refresh. So you see we have data link in here. Yeah, this one. So when you are clicking on this, it's uh it's doing the and it's not refreshing and it's it's calling this route function so and in the route when someone you like clicking on it and in the route function it's checking if event dot target dot parent node dot id if it's cart so if it's uh if the id is cart uh this one if the ID is cart, it is going to say event.target.parent node dot parent node. Okay, so for parent node href. So if you click on here, it will go to the parent node. Okay, and then it will uh, go to the route. Uh, so it's taking the parent node and dot href. So uh, And yeah, if it's the cart route, so if the ID is cart route, so this one, so it's just checking if, uh, so if the parent node.id is a uh, cart route, then it's like it's doing event.target.parentNode.href. So it's, get, uh, it's always getting there and going to this so this is what it's doing yeah and that's all for the navbar video and everything is working fine you can navigate to the cart URL and also the home page so in the next video I'll show you how to fetch data from the fake store API so I'll see you in the next one bye hello everyone so what I wanted to do is that I want to create the this whole thing on best products waiting for you and I want to load all of the products in here so let's go to our editor and inside of the JS folder I want you to create a folder called home.js so this is going to be the home page now what I want you to do is I want you to create a class export default class home yeah and the home is working fine and let's give it a constructor but it is didn't have and let's add a selector here and we will say this dot container document dot get element by id and we're going to say here selector okay 
and now we are going to create a helper folder here helper and we're going to say inside of the helper products helper products helper .js. okay and I'll show you what we're going to do with that and now I want you to go inside of the index.js and in the load page function I want you to add if location dot path name is equals equals to slash if it's uh, slash we want to load the home page new home and we're going to say container because it's our like the container from here and we want to import so it's auto imported my editor so I want to add JS so you want to do import home from dot slash home dot JS and now I want you to go inside of the home JS so home and I want to I want you to say here let's create the product helper first uh, a little bit so inside of the products helper I want you to create uh, export default sorry default and class products helper and static get get products products and return json dot purse session storage dot get item this is going to be products products yeah and the next one that I want to create is that static set set products okay and then here we want a parameter products then we want to say session storage dot set item it's going to be something like this yeah products and then this and that stream file product yeah that's all that we wanted to have in the products helper so our products helper is ready now we need to go into home js and then we want to get the products this dot products and then products helper then dot get products okay get products uh, we don't need that because it's a setter and getter so and if it's not av not available then we want an array now we want to import products helper products helper and need to pass js here dot js okay now we want to load pro we want to create a load product so for, let me call it here load products async load products okay so if if this dot products dot length is less than or equal to zero then const res await fetch okay I think okay now now we want the API link so let's go to our browser and I'll give you the link in the description below as always 
So yeah, you want to get this link. Only till the products, okay? So let's copy this and then paste it here. And and then const data await res.json. So we're we need to parse that to JSON and now we're going to set the products helper helper dot set products set products we need to set it like this because it's a setter data this dot products is equals to products helper dot get products okay so we have updated all of that now what we need is that we need a function that should display the products to the um, to the page so let me first console.log the data so it will so we're confirmed that it's working fine so let's go to our browser and then here we want okay it's not loading seems like yeah load it load it yeah I haven't reloaded yeah you see it's working fine if I reload and it's taking some time maybe don't know what it's doing let's see console.log data uh, home index.js so if the path is location then it's going to say new home container it should load Okay, let's uh, let's go further. I will debug this. So now we are going to create a so one. Um, so you'll see we how we are going to debug this. So you see everything is like load products. If I have the load product correctly, yes. Async and then data. What if I do it in here? In the first attempt it was loaded, but let's see in the network tab. What if I do it in here console.log something? Yeah, this one is loading. I think because it, it is a uh, async function, so that's why it's like behaving like this. So yeah. So let's go further. So we want after this we want this dot display products okay so let's create the display products display products now we want to set let products HTML and this is going to be like this so in the products HTML, we're go oh, how you how how you can get this. So I will give you the link as always. So in the home page, you just want to copy only this too, okay? 
and go to the editor inside the products HTML to this yeah working fine now this dot products this dot products dot for each and then product and products HTML plus equals to new product product and then dot create HTML so we're going to create that right and just now so let's create a fun uh, I mean a file called product.js okay so inside of the JS I want to create product.js product.js and then export default class product and then constructor now we what we want is in the product is that we want to get the image and then the title and then price and then ID that's all we need and now we want yeah, this dot image yeah everything seems to be yeah fine now we want to say create HTML and then return the HTML so where you can find this HTML you can find it from the link that I will give you so this one is the product card HTML so copy the whole thing and then paste it here and let me just align this a bit yeah and inside of the link I want this dot image and the second thing is that in the h5 product name goes here I want to say this dot title and in the and in here I want the product price so this dot price and the second thing is that the product ID we will need that in JavaScript so in here I want the ID this dot ID so yes everything is working maybe let me import the product from dot slash product dot js yeah so yeah product is working let me see and yeah now uh, in the home js we want to set the products html products html plus equals to and there is going to be the div we need the closing tag for this one okay so we added the closing tag and now we want to append to the container and the container is going to be where was the container that I have added so this dot container dot inner HTML HTML is equals to products HTML I mean not equals to plus equals to products HTML now let's see if it works fine yeah still it's not loading don't know why need to debug 
all of that. So let's debug it. Log. Logging. Yeah, it's logging, logging properly. Maybe the problem is in here, the load products. So, in the home, load products. This dot load products. Yes, seems to be fine. The products and uh, debug, and let's see if I console dot log here. Data. Yes, this is also logging in the console. Ah, uh, maybe this is not going in here. Products. This dot products dot length. Let's see if we console dot log. This dot products dot length. Oh, length is uh, 20 okay everything let's do here yes let's go to our session storage to check location memory application yeah and in the session storage yes everything is fine what if I console.log the products console.log this dot products yeah products have all of the items so this dot products dot for each product and products plus is equals to new product and dot create HTML so this is returning the HTML and adding it to and this dot container dot inner HTML products HTML okay let's see So as we are importing this, let's see if we can have the container. Maybe the container is wrong. Oh, we have a problem. You see, we did create HTML. There we need get element by ID. That was the problem actually. Element by ID. Okay, everything is working fine. Yeah, that's all we need. 
you see and if I click on the buttons it will not work because we haven't added the logic in here so yeah that's all that we wanted to create and yeah don't worry about the CSS because I have already provided in here you can find the CSS in here in the CSS yeah style.css there is all of the CSS available so yeah we've got our goal we have reached our goal now in the next video I'll show you that how to implement the add to cart thing add to cart function so yeah that's all for this video I will see you in the next one bye so hello guys in this video I'm going to show you that how to implement the when you um, the add to cart function so if you click on here it will going to update in here okay and if you go here there is nothing because we haven't implemented that so first in this video I'm going to show you the add to cart function how to create that and how to update those values in here so the first thing that I want to do is instead of the JS helper function create another helper for helper which is cart helper dot js and then export default cart helper oh this should be class class and then constructor we don't need a constructor in here static get get cart okay return json dot parse parse and local storage dot get item cart and then static get which is going to be the get cart item count and let cart is equal to this dot get cart okay so it's going to get the cart and then if cart dot cart dot length is greater than zero then we want we want to return cart dot reduce R E D U C E reduce and then we want to say A C K car item and A C K plus car item dot amount and this is going to be zero. So we we don't have that amount thing we need to add on the add to cart function. Okay and and sorry for the noise guys uh, return zero and then static set set cart there should be cart and then local storage dot set item and cart and json dot stringify cart and then we ha we need to have another one but we'll add it later first we want to add the act to cart so static add to cart so there should be the product okay now we want let cart is equal to this dot cart oh I mean get cart and then const is item in cart if the item is in cart or not let's find it cart dot find and then item item dot id if it's item dot id is equal to product dot id then it will return the item if it's not then it will 
it will return minus one. If is item in cart, then cart is equal to cart dot map item, and we don't need this. Let's do um, item dot id is equal to equals to product dot id, and if it's true, then we're going to say dot dot item and then amount we're adding that amount to that so item dot amount plus one and if if there is no amount and if if, if it doesn't match then it's going to return this and else if it's not available in the cart we are going to add it like this cart dot push and then product and then we're going to add an amount with one so that's all for the adding to the cart that and now we need to set the cart this dot set cart is equal to cart mm. now we need to say this dot update nav cart value is equal to this dot get cart item count so for the update nav cart value to create this and also this so for the get card uh, so yeah we already have created the get card item need to create the update nav card value so we will create it in like this static And up static set update nav cart value value and then we want to say const cart document dot get element by id element by id nav cart item so the nav cart item and cart dot inner text value so we're getting the nav cart item from here let me show you in the index.js uh, nav card item this one okay this is the ID this one we're getting so so we have updated the nav card value so now now we want to add some comment in here let's add some comments for this uh, set update updated card to local storage storage date nav bar card item count in the card page it should update it should update its own item count we will implement this later on Implement later okay so I think that's all for the function let's go to our uh, first index.js so in the index.js 
we want to import cart helper okay so let's import the cart helper uh, import cart helper yeah and and then the cart helper and we want in here the cart item item count and let's add it there cart item count and in the nav bar load nav bar we want cart helper dot get cart item count get cart item count I assume that it's oh no we need to add the listeners to this so for that we want to add a count in here to zero in the home and then we want to create another function oh sorry and apply listeners yeah and now we want to first apply it in here if count is equals equals to zero then this dot apply listeners we're going to apply and count is going to be one and in the apply listeners we want to say document dot add event listener and we want to listen for a click and target and now we want is if location location dot path name is equals equals to slash then let parent is equal to target dot parent node dot node name so we're going to get the node name is not equals to document and so we're checking and target dot parent node dot attributes data product ID. So we're trying to get the get the ID of it, and we want to get const target dot attribute Views product and let's let's say product attributes and data product ID and if it's not then we're going to say parent now if target dot matches pd dot pd cart button so where we're why we're matching the pd card button you have to go in the product js so yeah, this is the data product id so we're going to get the id from it and this is the class pd card button so that's why we're checking the match of this so pd card button or if we click on target dot parent node dot match chase and if the parent node is the dot pd card and 
not car, it should be car button. And there also should be card, not cart. It's a button. And the product a attribute is equals equals to undefined. We're going to say const with product this dot products dot find item item dot id is equals equals to number so this is a string so we need to convert it to number product attr dot value means attribute dot value and we want to say cart helper cart helper dot add to cart click product so it will add to cart in here I hope that it should work let's save and go to our okay let me hide this yeah so let's see if it works properly oh there is a problem maybe that we got yeah so we're not lucky we need to again debug the thing so We need to so product dot product attribute dot value. What ID is it? What it's saying in here? Let's see. Find cart. Okay, cart cannot read properties of null reading find. Okay, 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 got it, got it. So in the in here, what we need is that if we need to set the card because it's not available in the local storage so we need to first uh, uh, set the car uh, card in the local storage initially so if if local storage dot get item is card and then local storage dot set item if Cart is not available, then we're going to set that to cart and then set it to an empty string. Uh, I mean, an, an empty value. So we're in, we need to set it to JSON. So we're setting uh, an array, empty array. So yeah, now it should work. Now, if I click, boom, it's working. You see, working fine. Yeah, that's all we need for this video and it's working fine you see everything you can add more and more yeah so it's working fine so that's all we need to do in here so in the next video I will show you how to create the this page I mean when you add some products and it should show like this and you can and the increase and decrease I, I will show in the next video Okay, so yeah, that's all for this for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. So hello everyone. In this video, I mean in this step, we're going to be creating this uh, shopping cart, the cart page. We're going to be working on that. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to your editor. Let me hide the console and what I want you to do is that I want you to create a file inside of JS called cart.js okay? and then or you can name it whatever you want it's it's your choice so I'm giving it the name of cart so so the first thing that 
we have to do is export default class cart and then constructor and we need a selector all oh, as always this dot container and document dot get element by ID so selector and then we need this dot cart so cart helper we need the cart helper for that and then dot get cart the getter we have and then we want to create this dot cart HTML HTML and this is going to be an empty string here and this dot load cart so we're going to load the cart so we're going to create a function for that load cart and then this dot cart HTML and and we need the HTML of cart so to get the HTML of cart what we need is that we need to, I will give you the link as always in the description below so let me go to my github and in here starter uh, Cart shopping cart container HTML. I think this is what we are looking for. Yeah, I'm going to copy this and go inside of our editor and then paste all of this. Okay, now now we need to have an if statement if cart i mean this dot cart dot length it's less than or equal to zero then th that means if you don't have any items in the cart then we want to show a message in here so this dot cart html is going to be H2 and, and we're going to have a class you can also get get this from here we have that maybe H2 yeah this one so you can copy all of this and then just paste it in here And else, if we have an item in the card, then we are going to say this dot card dot for each. Okay, and then we are going to have an item. This dot card HTML is going to be, I mean, plus equals to. So new cart item, new cart item. So we're going to create this, okay, cart item. And there's going to be item. We're going to create that class and that create HTML. Yes, that's all we need. So now let's create that. In the JS file, I want you to create the card item card item dot js I'm sorry for the noise guys mm. and we want export default car uh, class card item 
card item and then we're going to have constructor constructor and inside of the inside of here we are going to have some props image title amount and then ID price and this dot image is equal to image this dot title is equal to title this dot amount is equal to amount and this dot ID is equal to ID and this dot price is equal to price and now uh, we need create HTML HTML and then return now we need the HTML of cart right so we want to go in here uh, cart HTML yeah this one is the cart HTML card item I mean card item HTML so paste it in here yeah, so and there is going to be the price so I will say dot price and there is going to be the product ID and this dot ID and next thing that we need to have in the item count we need to have the product ID this dot ID and then value is going to be the amount dot amount okay and there is also going to be the product ID dot ID and another in the button we need the product ID this dot ID and we need to have the let's see if we have yeah there is the title this dot title and image should be here this dot image and next is and we have also those things you know, that we have implemented so I think that's all for this let's go here let's import this import cart item from make it single hold so and dot slash card item dot js and this is also need the extension okay and then we need we need to add the inner HTML this this dot card HTML is plus equals to so we need to close the div of this and this so we need div and then div yeah right 
so now this dot container we need to append it to the browser container inner HTML is going to be this dot cart HTML yeah looks fine let's see how it looks like uh, and here if we go here and give it a refresh yeah maybe we did some mistake always so let's debug this oh I think yeah this is why we are not getting this because we haven't defined our path to index.js so we need to say uh, else if location dot path name is equals equals to dot slash and slash cart cart new cart and then container container yes now it should show let's give it a reload boom it's working it's working fine okay why the nav bar is not loading because we did else if now what happens okay why the nav bar is not loading let's check new cart container load nav bar the first page is it's loading correctly but oh 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 I know why it's not showing correctly because we need to add this like this okay and in the inner oh, not not like this in here we need to give it a plus in here so now it's going to show you see it's working fine but the this is not and we need to like the that was a placeholder we need to change it okay we'll change that so that's all that we needed to do so that's it for the cart to load on the cart page i will show you the next step in the next videos that oh, in the next video we will implement this increment and decrement and also the total price okay yeah so i'll see you in the next video bye So yeah, in this video, I'm going to first start with the with this total price. So we can calculate all of the total price. So let's display the total price of all of them. Okay. So let's see. First, what we can do is we can open up our code editor and go to our cart helper and then need to create another function uh, that should be let me say which should be uh, calc total price maybe yeah let's do static calc total price and return this dot get cart dot reduce and then ACK item now we want is that item dot amount into item dot 
price and plus ACK and then zero and we want to say two fixed so it will be fixed to two okay mm. okay yeah and now inside of our cart JS we want to say here cart helper dot calc total price okay now let's see how it works let's reload boom working look we have some items in here so it just calculates all of that items let's let's just remove all of the items from here application and then let's delete and we want to give it a reload look we uh, this is also working fine because we we don't have any items in the cart so it just works and if we add some items to the cart let's see you see it's working fine in here yeah that's the thing and now the next thing that we want to implement is the let's implement the clear all functions uh, so, because it is a uh, little bit uh, easy to implement so let's implement this uh, clear all let's go our editor editor and now we want to implement clear all so in the cart JS first we want to define a count variable I will explain to you at the last I haven't explained that also in the I will explain you after the project is completed so I'll can show you why we are using this so and now we want an if statement if count is equals equals to zero then this dot apply listen nurse and then count is equal to one so apply listeners and then document dot add event listener click and then e it means event and we we want to get the target from here target from the e oh I have sign it in here it needs to be outside of that yes um. and then we need parent target dot parent node dot node name as like before is not equals to document and target dot parent node dot attributes and then data product ID and next thing we need is the product attribute const uh, product attribute target dot attributes yeah, product ID and then parent if it's not available then the parent so 
if location dot path name is equals equals to cart then we want clear the shopping cart okay so now we are going to check if target dot matches clear all if not then target dot parent node dot matches is going to be clear all then if the condition is true then we're going to say card helper dot set cart this dot cart cart helper dot get cart cart helper dot update nav card value is going to be cart helper dot get cart item count yeah this will work I believe so let's check this out let's go here let's give it a reload and if we click here okay the card becomes empty but we need also this to be removed from the screen so to do so what we need is that um, card helper dot get card item count and you see this is also empty okay we'll check why it's not doing like that so reload yes it works if I do clear all this one clears but need to need to also clear this so to clear the shopping cart we need to clear the whole shopping cart so to do that let's check our code which is in the static js cart clear the shopping cart and And yeah, removing the shopping cart from the UI when when the cart is empty. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. So this is what it's doing out of the cart. So load cart. Yeah, got it. So remove shopping cart from the UI. Let's go uh, in our cart, and then we are going to say remove shopping cart from the UI when cart is empty yeah and if cart helper dot get cart dot length is less than or equal to zero and then this dot cart is equal to cart helper dot get cart and if document dot get i mean not get query selector selector and then dot shopping cart is not equals to null document dot query selector 
the shopping cart and we want to remove it and then this dot load cart so we want to load it again so let's see now it should work let's give it a reload back to home and add some products to our basket and let's click on this boom working fine yes so we've made it work let's let's work on the uh, this button so this is going to be a little bit easier so it should be like we want to remove the clicked item okay so the clicked item then if target dot matches dot delete button or target dot parent node dot matches delete button then we want to say cart helper dot remove we need to create this oh. and to go to our cart helper and then create this remove so static remove and document dot get element by ID item and then need the ID dot remove and then this dot set cart so you want to update the card this dot get card dot filter item and item dot id is not equals equals to id and then what we want is update the nav bar date the nav bar cart so this dot update nav bar nav cart value this dot get cart this dot get cart item count and this is going to be this dot update cart to roll price so we need to create this and also this dot calc total price so we need to get the create the uh, update cart total price update cart total 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 price so so we need to just say document dot get element by ID and cart total total price dot inner text and this is going to be uh, total price which is coming from here total price price okay I think that's all let's go in our cart and remove and we need to uh, give the ID of this so ID let's 
but we need to get those ID for for that what you need is that we need to add it inside of the product attribute and type of product attribute dot value is not equals to undefined then let id is equal to number product attribute dot value and this should be yeah seems like it should work fine so let's give it a try I click on here yes working but update car total price is not a function it's giving an error in here so update car total price oh we need to set the total uh, need to set it maybe to a static function let's try the card helper set it to static so in the card helper we need to set it to a static update price let's see if it works let's add some item to the card some more yeah so now let's see if we get any error yeah now we're not getting error, any error because of the static thing so yeah clear all and everything is working fine and the next thing that we need to do is the plus and the minus so we need to add to card and remove from the card so I will show this in the next video that's all for this one if you clear all okay seems like it's not working need to check again so oh yeah that should be outside of the uh, I was talking about this one that should be outside of the same statement yeah now it should work so let's give some tries and I click yes working fine clear all seems to be not working properly mm. okay Let's see. Mm. Remove shopping cart from the UI when cart is empty. Let's check again if we reload. And if we reload also in here, back to home, and add some items to the cart, and then clear all. Yes, now it's working. If I do something again, and then I clear. Yeah, now it's working. Yeah. So yeah, that's for that's all for this video. I will show you some. I mean the 
add to cart and remove from cart in the next video uh, inside of the cart page so i'll see you in the next one bye so hello everyone so now in this step we're going to be implementing the add to cart function and the remove from cart function so we already have this function available so let's just create uh, work on the first uh, I mean add to cart so it will finish start so let's go in the like increase the product amount so let's go in our code editor and inside of this we want to add increase uh, the product amount and if target dot matches dot plus button we're going to and also there is going to be some other target dot parent node dot matches I mean matches so plus button uh, this dot cart is going to be cart helper dot get cart others uh, and const clicked product is going to be this dot cart dot find item then item dot id is equals equals to id and if clicked product then we're going to say cart helper dot add to cart and then clicked product okay now let's go inside of our let's see how it's going how it how it is working so if I reload and add some items but this is not updating so we need to configure this to update and also this if we increase you see and if I increase this is also not updating so we need to work on that um, let's add some items uh, and now we need to go inside of the add to cart so let me go inside of the yes I'm inside of the add to cart now we need to add mm, so we have added so yeah in the cart page it should update its own item count yeah we we'll implement later I have already commented that out so let's work on this if location dot path name is equals equals to dot slash cart and then cart is going to be this dot cart uh, I mean get cart and const updated updated item card dot find item item dot id is equals equals to oh, product dot id okay and total price this dot get card item price so we will create that updated item dot price and updated item dot amount so we're going to create that to that function so get item price so get item price so we need to create that function too 
uh, let's do static get card item price and total price and total price and then and then we need amount now return price into amount and then dot to fixed so that it is fixed to only two and now we want in the add to cart then this dot update card item price total price product we will also create that dot id so this dot update card item price static update card item price So update card item price so document dot get element by ID price price ID dot inner text equals to and then we need total price and this dot update card card total price this dot calc total price now We need another thing document dot get element by ID and then we need product dot ID dot value updated updated item dot amount so yeah now that should work so let's give it a reload and then check okay we've got an error price is not defined in the cart helper so okay it's in the get cart item price get cart item price so So this is not uh, going to be the total price, this is going to be the price actually. So price. Now it should work. Now if I do okay another thing. We got update card item price. So ID is not defined. Okay. So update card item price. Total price plus ID. total price and the ID now it should work now I think it should work okay another thing we have got in here inner text so what is the problem see in the console cannot set properties of null setting inner text Okay, it is in update card item price. So 
Okay, so what I did is price ID dot inner text. Maybe we have something to do in the cart. ID this dot ID and the product item ID and price ID let's compare with with my one cart item okay there is the ID so there should be price and then this dot ID yeah that's why so in the cart item we need price price and this dot ID now it should work yeah let's try yeah this one is working you see the price also changes this one also changes and this one also you see working fine everything is working fine and now we need this one to work on the remove from cart so let's go in uh, inside of our editor we need to go inside the cart so in the cart decrease the product amount now so decrease the product amount if target dot matches dot minus minus button or target dot parent node dot matches dot minus button and cart helper dot remove item from cart and there should be the ID so let's go inside of the cart helper let's add remove from cart so static remove item from cart remove item from cart so now we have the remove item from cart so let's do it uh, we are getting the ID so let cart is equal to this dot get cart and then let stop is equal to false and then cart is equal to cart dot reduce and ACK and then the item and now we need to say if item dot ID is equals equals to ID and if item dot amount is equal to equals to one then we want to stop is true so when we click on the minus button it will not update when it's uh, when the item is one so, and then it should it will do return sek and else it will return sek item amount item dot amount minus one okay we haven't given a comma in here so we need a comma and there we need yeah no and we need else in here return ACK and then the item 
and we need to have an empty array as an initial value so and if stop is equal equals to true we want to return and then set updated card to local storage this dot set cart cart and then update nav bar cart item count this dot update nav card value this dot get cart item count and then we need in the cart page it should update its own item count count and item if local stories I mean location dot path location dot path name is equal to equals to cart then const updated item card dot find item item dot id id and then if updated item we want to say here document dot get element by id id dot value updated item dot amount and then cons total price this dot get cart item price updated item dot price and then we need updated item dot amount and then we need this dot update cart item update card item price and then total price and then we need the ID and if it doesn't match then we are going to return so that's all we needed to do let's check if it works mm -hmm. okay yeah it's working fine you see it's also decreasing the price is also decreasing yeah this is like working fine and if I click it stops and if you want to remove removes if you clear all clear all okay oh target dot parent no dot matches back to home page is not a phone parent no dot matches just clear all and no dot matches let's see and now it works let's check it again if we can reproduce if I do and then some now it works maybe something well, a little bit maybe in my computer yeah so we have achieved our goal and created this beautiful shopping cart from scratch with vanilla JavaScript and a little bit of HTML CSS and I've also used a little bit of bootstrap you can check out uh, in, in the CSS file and also the HTML so that's all we have created so it's working fine you can go and everything is working fine let's check you let's buy something okay I want to increase also increase decrease 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 and if I if I don't want this if I don't want everything and move to cart yeah that's working fine so I'm happy and I'm very happy to create this with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like I made a lot of effort to make this so 
it will really help me out and it will inspire me to make more videos on stuff like stuff, stuff like this on tutorials so that's it for this whole tutorial i will see you in the next one and please comment below if what you want to see in the next video yeah that's all bye bye Hello guys, so uh, I forgot to uh, explain the count thing, I mean the count variable why I have assigned this. So the count is for is that when we have the count, let's say that we have the count is zero. So when this one loads, it's, it will apply the listener first time, okay? So when it changes, when the path changes, it will apply again if I don't... Uh, give this count uh, or prevent this so it will apply multiple times uh, as I uh, navigate through different URLs and then what it's going to do is it's going to apply the listeners multiple times so when you are going to click on the add to cart button it will it's going to like uh, push multiple products uh, products amount into the cart so that's why I have added this that's why and also in the home js there is also the add to cart button so it will increase if i don't add it it will increase like multiple value by multiple values like by two or four so that's why i have added this so that's all that i wanted to say good luck bye not until you fall back you Dreams come alive, you're unstoppable Take a shot, change